A new map was added to the game in the 8.6 update, called Sacred Valley. It is an open winter map and an oriental setting, and at first it may seem very difficult. The terrain consists of cliffs, steep hills, shrubs, and trees, as well as numerous destructible houses. In this video, we are going to tell you about the key positions on the map, its features, and also about suitable battle tactics. To begin with, let's divide the map into its main areas. These are the hill, the temple, the central lowland, and the northern and southern bases. The hill includes the foothills, as well as the highest ground. The second area is the temple. It includes both the small village and the route near the central hill. The lowlands cover the middle of the map. They offer various tactical opportunities, such as pushing to the enemy's base or attacking their rear. We will use graphical elements that you can see on your screen to describe tactics and battle moves. This legend contains all icons that we will use in our video. And now let's take a closer look at all these areas from both perspectives. Let's start from the north. The hill is one of the key points of the map. At the beginning of the battle, you need to hold it, so take up defensive positions. The first position is the stones. There is no need to descend. From here, you can suppress any enemy attempt at climbing. At the same time, you're protected from flanking attacks and artillery fire. Using this building as cover, you can fire on enemies driving up the hill or support your allies at the stones. If enemies manage to climb up, use this stone for cover. From this position, you have the advantage of the hill, which controls the central part of the map. Remember that you can be fired on by enemy tanks and SPGs. You should get back to cover after each shot. A light tank can drive along the edge of the hill for early intelligence on enemy movements. There aren't any good spots for passive scouting though, so you shouldn't stay there. Artillery at the base can fire on vehicles that are driving up the hill. To engage tanks on the foothills, artillery should move to F9. This will also give them the opportunity to hit tanks that have already reached the top of the hill. Now let's discuss the hill from the perspective of the southern base. We'll begin with the nearest village. It will help in the defense and provide cover from enemy artillery. Now let's move on to the foothills. From this position, you can engage tanks that are driving down the hill or enemies in the central part of the map. You can climb the hill in two ways. The hard way is the path at C2, and the easier one is the slope at C5. When taking the second route, it's a good idea to make use of this building. It gives you cover, and you can fire on tanks in the lowlands. Once on the hill, make use of the cover as described for the northern team, but in the other direction. Allied artillery can easily fire on enemy tanks on the hill from the Square K2. To sum up, the hill is best suited for vehicles with good gun elevation angles and strong turret armor. There are good defensive positions on both sides. This will allow you to meet enemies fully prepared. The hill is a really important strategic position. If one of the teams manages to capture it, their opponents will have a hard time defending their base. You should only assault the hill with a clear superiority in numbers. The following tactics are effective for both teams. Let's use a game from the southern side as an example. In the usual case, with an equal amount of force on the hill, you usually fight a trench war and try to support tanks on the lowlands. If the majority of the enemy force is spotted in the temple area, it's time to storm their positions. When enemies here have been defeated, you should check how the other flank is doing. If enemies are near your base, you need to turn back immediately. Is the fight still going? It may be a good idea to push their base, destroy artillery, and then get to their rears or capture the base. If the enemies attack with a large force through the center, you should hold your positions and systematically destroy the approaching tanks. Make sure you notice a push in your direction, because you may get caught in the crossfire and your rear can be uncovered. Keep an eye on enemy movement near you to avoid this situation. If the main enemy force decide to assault the hill, it is important to play defensively and contain them for as long as possible. Now let's examine the temple area for the northern team. It is very useful to see the enemy movements at the opening minutes of the battle. Use these bushes for passive scouting, and your allies can fire from these positions. At the temple area, you should get close to the hill so you are harder to spot. When defending the temple, you have many buildings to use as cover. Keep in mind, though, that they are all destructible. 
When you are at the foothills, you should hold these positions. You will be totally safe from artillery fire, and enemies will be vulnerable in this narrow space. If you want to attack, from this hill you'll be able to engage tanks in the center and on the road to the temple. It will be hard for SPGs to hit you. Artillery can fire on tanks in the temple area and on the road from B8. Positions for the southern team are largely the same. There are useful bushes just behind the bridge. Hide there to spot enemy movement to the temple or a rush towards the hill. You can hide behind this rock to break enemy detection when you've come under fire. These bushes allow you to fire on enemies on the lowlands as well as tanks that are driving up the hill. Buildings near the temple also provide effective cover. In the lower part of the temple, you're safe from SPGs. Here, nothing distracts you from fighting enemies and preventing their attempts to flank you. The best spot for artillery to cover this area is the square J1. You won't be able to fire on tanks on the other side of the hill, but trying to get closer is very dangerous. To sum up, the lower part of the temple is suitable for heavy and slow vehicles because they have cover and approaches to defend. Faster vehicles can drive directly to the temple itself and use the position to spy on the enemy for their team. The following tactical moves work for both teams. Let's say we're playing from the northern start location. The temple area is good for a defensive line and you can quickly redeploy to defend your base. If the enemy storm the hill with superior numbers, you need to get ready for defense. If you see that your allies can handle it, you should push your flank and drive to the enemy base. If enemies push through the center, it may be a good idea to get back and catch the enemies in the crossfire. If the enemy's main force moves on you, hold the line and fight to the death. The great defensive position gives you an advantage in the fight and time to wait for reinforcements. Now let's examine the central part of the map for the northern team. Firstly, it could be a good idea to passively scout from the bushes. Just be careful, you can be spotted from the hill. These are the safest positions. From here, you can see opposing teams opening moves. If an enemy moves towards you, you'll be able to retreat quickly. From here, you'll be able to safely engage enemy tanks driving up the hill or staying at its foot. This position is important because enemies will have to fight on two fronts, both on the hill and in the center. If enemies attack through the center, you may defend your position by taking cover in the village or behind the central hill. You may use this area in an attack or in a push. Your position is lower than the enemy base, so enemies will have to drive out to catch you. This will expose them to your allies. From this position, you can easily get to the enemy rear or attack their base. Now let's take a closer look at the center for the southern team. You can get behind these bushes for passive scouting. From here, you'll spot enemy movement towards the hill and in the center. You can engage the first scouted tanks from this position, but then you should get to a safer place. Here, you are an easy target for artillery. From here, you can safely engage enemy tanks on the hill. If you get under heavy fire, just drive backwards. Nobody can hit you there. You can take cover behind these rocks and hills during an attack through the center. They provide cover from artillery and it will be harder for enemy tanks to hit you. You should use this route to advance further. You'll be able to fight tanks on the hill while only showing your turret. And the building on the right will protect you from artillery. The central part of the map can change the result of a battle with its easy access to the enemy's rear. This can work against you though. Assaulting the enemy base early in the match is not the best decision. You'll just get destroyed. When the battle is raging, a group of medium tanks can push through here and cause havoc. Attacking enemy artillery or pushing into the rear of their tanks can decide the outcome of the battle. This area is well suited for fast vehicles. The main tactic for both sides is to fight a trench war early on and then react according to the situation. When you start from the northern base and enemies push through the temple, you can easily get to their rear. If there are many SPGs in the battle, it's better to come at them from two sides, both from the valley and directly. If enemies are breaking through on the hill, they will be exposed to fire for a long time. As soon as the enemy tanks are out of your line of fire, you can drive to the enemy base through G4. This way, enemies near the temple will not be able to fire at you, and you should get inside their capturing circle quicker than they can get to yours. If enemies attack through the center, find a good position and fire on them. They will have nowhere to run, having been caught in the crossfire. When starting on the southern side, you'll need another route. It is harder for you to get to the enemy base quickly. 
That's why, if enemies are pushing through the hill, you won't rush forward. Stay in the safety of the Central Hill and engage their vehicles. When the enemy withdraws, you should move closer to their base. At this point, the enemy tanks have been under fire for a long time. You will have to finish them off. If enemies push through the temple, you may get to their rear by driving around the Central Hill. You should also send somebody in to kill the artillery. This route is often taken by heavily armored tanks. Don't fight them head on. If enemies attack through the center of the map, you should get to the foot of the central hill, closer to the temple, and destroy them from there. As soon as the enemies here are destroyed, you can drive through to the center of their base. That's all for now. Good luck on the battlefield.